to honor our veterans. That's what we do it for. 1450 WLAF News. It's Heroes Honoring Heroes. All these guys are volunteers, and the wives, too, are very important. It's a virtual who's who of Campbell County heroes from all branches of the military. It's the most active such unit in the region. It is the Campbell County Honor Guard. Under the hot Wednesday afternoon sun on top of the hill at Baker's Ford Cemetery, while the wind whipped from time to time, the Campbell County Honor Guard was on duty. On duty honoring Bill Brown. Brown was a veteran of the Korean War serving in the U.S. Army. Army Master Sergeant Ken Goins played taps and was joined by Linda Edmonds in a dual taps on Wednesday. Goins, who's 89 years old, is the oldest active member of the Campbell County Honor Guard and served in World War II and the Korean War. Edmonds hobbled to take her position behind a tree to play out of sight. Edmonds underwent knee replacement only a few days earlier, but was not going to let that keep her away from Brown's service. We just do what we do because we want to do it and we love it. And after countless services over all these years, members of the Guard certainly have their share of stories. About eight years ago, we was down at uh, Woodhaven, up on top of the hill, Holly Hamble Graveyard. And it come a rainstorm. I got back home, every inch of my clothes was wet, even the bottom of my feet. It was raining sideways. At a Sergeant Brown's service on Wednesday was the Guard's second interment of the day. So far in 2016, the Campbell County Honor Guard has volunteered to honor 57 fallen veterans. That number will exceed 100 before the year's out. And that's not just in Campbell County, that's in surrounding counties and Knoxville as well. And it's this kind of service that makes Don Chadwick and the other members of the Campbell County Honor Guard feel good about what they're doing. We feel good about it because we are doing what... I think the Lord wants us to do, honoring the veterans, encouraging the families, and uplifting us even. And that's 1450 WLAF News. <laughs>